Noni Darwish is a convert from Islam to Christianity, but she's just not any convert. She is the daughter of Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser's top military commander in Gaza. He ruled Gaza with an iron fist until he was killed by Israeli Defense Forces in 1956. She lived in the heart of the Arab-Israeli conflict during the 1956, 1967, and 1973 wars. Noni's home today is in the United States, where she is appalled to see the same brutal, sexist Muslim Brotherhood that has made life miserable for the masses in the Middle East now making rapid inroads into the United States and into the current White House, where Obama is welcoming Muslim Brotherhood leaders with open arms. Since her conversion to Christianity, she has made it her life's work to warn as many people as she can about the very real Islamic threat. In fact, she has already seen techniques and tactics used by Islamists here in the United States that she says are trademarks of Islamic dominance of a region. They're here, Darwish says, and I'm very, very concerned for the future of America. Darwish says that among the most disconcerting things she has seen since moving to America is that she is seeing things that she never thought she would see in the United States. I never thought I would ever see the Muslim Brotherhood in the White House, she said. Noni is the author of the eye-opening book, The Devil We Don't Know, The Dark Side of Revolutions in the Middle East, that describes in concise detail the recent powerful wave of Middle East uprisings that has fueled both hope and trepidation in the region and around the world. She also authored Now They Call Me Infidel in 2006. As the ultimate fate and fallout of the Arab Spring continue to hang in the balance, the devil we don't know examines the factors that will obstruct or support freedom and democracy throughout the Muslim world. Like no other, Darwish puts forth an honest assessment of what lies ahead. She knows painfully well the nightmare of being a woman living in Cairo, Egypt, under submission to harsh Islamic Sharia law. And now Noni's mission in life is to sound the alarm as to the extreme danger of Sharia law as she pleads with Americans to reject it soundly, wholeheartedly, and resolutely, and to reject it as they would reject deadly poison or bondage, for Sharia law is both. <laughs>